Welcome, Richard, to another Fantasy Goodfellas video where we're going to talk about the top 24 quarterback rankings for week three. You ready? Here we go. The Fantasy Goodfellas. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, oh, oh, on the field. Before we get started on week three's quarterback rankings, let's just review how we did in week two. If you take Tua out, who we have ranked number 23, 19 of the remaining 23 quarterbacks in our top 24 made the top 24. So boom, boom, boom. It was an excellent week. That's two straight hot weeks for us. Let's go ahead and get started on the top 24 quarterback rankings for week three. Richard, take it over. And number one, Kyler Murray at Jacksonville. For the first week, Kyler Murray's in that top spot. Do you think he can continue it for the rest of the season? No, I think Pat Mahomes is probably going to be our number one quarterback many weeks. But Kyler Murray has been spectacular. And number two, Patrick Mahomes, home against the L.A. Chargers. This week's week, shootout. shootout. Patrick Mahomes was the seventh ranked quarterback last week. What's he going to do this week? He'll be top three in man, man. His floor is so high. He's so good. He has good receivers. He's fine. And number three, Lamar Jackson at Detroit. Is this a turning point for Lamar Jackson? Because he's playing like Lamar Jackson. It, it depends what you think, but Lamar Jackson did what he needs to do. As, as we keep saying here every week, he must run. When his mentality is just to run, he's fantastic. This is what we want, but it's not always there. Number four, Russell Wilson at Minnesota. You said Seattle's looking to run more. Looks like they're doing both up there in Seattle. Russell Wilson is good no matter what. Even if they're going to run, he will find the right moments to, to make those long passes. And he's been hitting Tyler Lockett. Deacon Metcalf is next. He's coming up. And number five, Tom Brady at Arizona. Tom Brady had an excellent week. What can we say that we haven't said about the GOAT. Tom Brady played Dallas and Atlanta in week one and two. Now he's got a tougher matchup, the Rams. But he's looked great, and I think he'll continue to do what he's doing. And number six, Jalen Hurts at Dallas. You called it. Hurts is doing good on the ground. You think that continues? Yeah. Jalen Hurts is another one of those guys that has to run, and, and he is, and he's got a great matchup this week. So I, I love him in my top ten. And number seven, Justin Herbert at Kansas City. It, Justin Herbert's playing good. It just doesn't seem like the touchdowns are coming. Does that change this week? He's going to have to this week. He's playing Patrick Mahomes. I think he will. And number eight, Aaron Rodgers, who is at San Francisco. I don't feel sorry for all those people that thought Aaron Rodgers was done. What about you? Look, Aaron Rodgers is amazing, right? He's a Hall of Famer, going to be a Hall of Famer. Detroit, good matchup, right? So everybody's going to tear them apart. But I think Aaron Rodgers will continue to have good weeks more often than bad. And number nine, Dak Prescott, home against Philadelphia. Looks like Dallas was relying on the run. Does Prescott have a bounce back game? I think this is going to be, this was an anomaly. I know Dallas wants to run more, and that's not good for Prescott's numbers. Obviously going to be good for their winning, but I still think that I think in the end they're going to rely on Prescott more often than not. And number 10, Josh Allen, home against Washington. In the beginning of the year, you ranked Allen much higher. What's going on now? Uh, Josh Allen hasn't put up the, the crazy numbers he did last year yet. We're waiting for him to hit his stride. So, so until then, we'll keep him at the bottom half of our top 10. And number 11, Matthew Stafford, home against Tampa Bay. Stafford's playing lights out. You think he's going to break your top 10? He definitely could, and, and, and there will be weeks he'll be in the top 10. The issue with him is he doesn't run. And number 12, Kirk Cousins, home against Seattle. Is Kirk Cousins here because of Kirk Cousins, or is he here because of his team? It, it's a combination, uh, but, but I think it's more because of his team. It's more because he has Dalvin Cook, Thielen, and Jefferson. But yes, there is a chemistry that's developing there. But Kirk Cousins, he's average. And number 13, Derek Carr, home against the Miami Dolphins. I just got to ask you, is Derek Carr a quarterback you like watching? Derek Carr has its moments. Look, listen, he has, he has Darren Waller. He's looked good through two weeks. But if you remember the beginning of last year, we were getting the same thing. He looked, he looked really good for like the first seven, eight weeks. And then I don't know what happened. But more importantly with Derek Carr, 
He's playing a Dolphin team that's probably not going to do much on offense, and he's going to have plenty of opportunity. And number 14, Teddy Bridgewater, home against the New York Jets. Teddy Bridgewater's playing solid. What do you think? Yeah, no, he's he's been good, and he has a great matchup this week. Hence, he's number 14. And number 15, Sam Darnold at Houston. Well, this is a quarterback you don't really like, so to see him in your top 15 is surprising. There's always the chance I was wrong about Sam Darnold. And maybe the Jets just made him look terrible. But I think it has more to do with the team surrounding him. And number 16, Daniel Jones, home against Atlanta. Daniel Jones seems to be ranked a little high on your ranking. It's because he's running. He ran for a lot last week. I still don't think he's the, the Giants quarterback of the future. I don't think he's very good. But if he runs, if he runs for 90 yards, you've got to put him in your top 24. And number 17, Ryan Tannehill, home against Indianapolis. He had a good game in yards, no TDs, but that rush was incredible. What happens this week? When Derrick Henry runs crazy, it opens things up for, for Ryan Tannehill. That is the run-first offense. And, and I think Ryan Tannehill, the touchdowns will come. He's got, again, A.J. Brown and Julio Jones. The touchdowns will come. And number 18, Joe Burrow at Pittsburgh. Joe Burrow threw three interceptions. Now he's going up against Pittsburgh. Is Pittsburgh a good defense or not? I think Pittsburgh's defense is going to be fine. They may, they may be missing T.J. Watt this week, which would be huge. But I think Joe Burrow does well no matter what. And 19, Jameis Winston at the New England Patriots. We knew Jameis Winston wasn't going to have another five TD game. But boy, this didn't look good in week two. Yep. Now there's some question marks in New Orleans. I expect a rebound, but we'll see how much of a rebound. At 20, Matt Ryan at Tampa Bay. Matt Ryan seems to be picking up a little bit more steam. Can he continue and get even higher in his gameplay? He should, you would think. Um, he, he has weapons. He has Calvin Ridley. He has Kyle Pitts. We will see what happens with Matt Ryan. He's trending down right now, but I would I still expect a rebound. At 21, Ben Roethlisberger, home against Cincinnati. Okay, is this the time to trade Ben Roethlisberger? I don't know if he has much value. He, he is definitely trending down. He has receivers, um, and he has Najee Harris. So we'll see. We'll see if it's just a, a bad start for him. I, I would still wait and see on Big Ben. At number 22, Baker Mayfield. Home against Chicago. What's going on with Baker Mayfield's wide receivers? Landry's hurt. Is Odell Beckham coming back? What's going on? Yeah, it's not looking good for the receiving core in Cleveland, but it doesn't matter. That's a run first team. And the only reason Baker Mayfield is on this list is because he's opportunistic and he takes advantage of the fact that defenses are lined up against the run. And he barely makes our top 24, but he's there. And number 23. Jimmy Garoppolo, home against Green Bay. Garoppolo's playing okay. Can he do better, or is this the best he's got? This is about right for Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, San Francisco can win with him, but Trey Lance has to be the quarterback of the future. It's not Jimmy Garoppolo. And this week, we have Jimmy Garoppolo in the top 24 because he's going to have to keep up with Aaron Rodgers. Number 24, I have Trevor Lawrence, home against the Arizona Cardinals. This rookie class is stinking it up. And Trevor Lawrence is one of them. Yeah, this rookie class, I mean, you've seen what Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson have done so far. Not much. Mac Jones, okay. Then, then you have the two guys that haven't played yet, right? Haven't played much, Fields and Lance. Um, yeah, this rookie class, not looking great right now. And this might be Trevor Lawrence's last chance to stick in the top 24. All right, thanks for coming on here and sharing your top 24 quarterback rankings for week three. Remember to like and subscribe. Remember to ask me questions. I'm here for you guys. I love this stuff. Fantasy good fellas. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. Oh, on the field. Hey. 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 Fantasy good fellas.